Hi guys, uh, my name is Teresa. I'm from Shanghai, China, and I'm currently studying a Bachelor of Commerce degree, majoring in Accounting and Commercial Law. Hi everyone, my name is Wang. I'm from Vietnam, born and raised in Ho Chi Minh City, and I'm doing a Bachelor of Arts in Education and Employment Relations in, in New Zealand. Hey everyone, um, my name is Judy. I came from Beijing, China, and um, I'm currently doing a Accounting degree of Bachelor of Design and Bachelor of Commerce, majoring in Marketing and Common Law. So the reason why I study, I chose to study in New Zealand is that back then, before coming here, I didn't know anything about New Zealand. So that's like that's right there where I see, okay, I have to explore this country, this land. And also besides that, after that, I did a little bit research about the education here, and I found that, hey, it's actually quite exciting for me to be here to just learn about the cultures, not only within my study, but also beyond that. When I first came here, I also found that it was a beautiful country and everyone here was just so friendly and I was able to make a lot of friends here and explore a different culture from my hometown. So that was also like a huge aspect of why I chose New Zealand to study. Same for me, because um, I went to New Zealand since five years ago and it's my fifth year here. So I met a lot of new friends. I also love New Zealand no matter culture or uh, environment. And because University of Auckland is the highest ranked university in New Zealand, and also located in Auckland, and that's why I'm here. My advice to anyone who's studying New Zealand and looking to get a part-time job would be um, to ask around as much as possible to your, um, just anyone you know in general in university, like your peers, your classmates, or even your teachers, if you have a really good relationship with them. Because you never know who's gonna be that thread that sort of links you to your job, or just internship, or like even your career. Making that personal connection and ask around is like a key. It's really important for you to like make that step forward. Yeah, and I really agree with that. I mean, like being proactive is a key here. And I think that being open to opportunities, like as a university student, you get all the chances and opportunities you can ask for. And when you are given one, just take it. Like, the more you put in, the more you get out. Same for me. Uh, my first part-time job was a student body in the University of Auckland. So we work in a student contact centre and provide ongoing support to those international students who could not return to New Zealand due to the COVID pandemic. Um, actually, this job has built up my confidence and then I did have the confidence to apply for other jobs thereafter. So for those of international students who would like to get some job experience, my little advice would be um, firstly, be confident, be yourself and don't be afraid to speak in front of the public and also uh, try to keep up with the latest information. You can use like LinkedIn or other platforms to get uh, in touch with potential employers and explore more job opportunities. And also uh, writing yourself a good resume. You can also seek support from the CDE service in the university and it's free. I would say it's my peers, my classmates, and my teachers. Because design is a relatively newly established program, and I just felt like when I joined, it's sort of like a family where everybody um, kind of know each other because we're a relatively small cohort as well. And the um, instructors are also really nice. Um, they would help us not only in terms of the assignment and schoolwork, but also in terms of just life in general, and career paths and just really help us to find what we enjoy doing because design is definitely a relatively broad um, area of study. So I really appreciate this um, opportunity that they gave us and this aspect of my program. Mm, yeah, um, and for me, um, one of the things that I enjoy most about my program is that um, I got to experience different learning and teaching styles, uh, discussion-based, uh, writing essays, many more so that's what I like about the most about my program. I want to recognize the huge effort of the teaching staff and also from the university side. We are supported with develop with resources, with resources, lectures, uh, lectures trying to adapt to a new environment, to a new teaching style. We have recordings, we have slides, we have everything prepared for us just to make sure that we get we still get the same 
quality of teaching and learning here at the University of Auckland. So that's what I enjoy with Van most. Initially, it was really stressful, but as we go and we get used to the new way of teaching and learning, it just gets easier and easier. And yeah. Yeah, Anyone I, I totally answers? agree. So it really takes time to get used to the new online learning system. And after you get used to it, you will love it. <laughs> okay, yeah. yeah. Yeah, just 100%. But just to add on to that, um, I really do also wanted to recognize how much effort the teaching staff and the school has done to um, ensure that we have as better as experience as possible. Um, I know, um, I, I don't know about you guys' program, but um, I know for design, um, our lecturers are sort of spending extra hours with us to make sure that we're on track on our work. Um, during lockdown, during um, the online school period, and I just really wanted to um, appreciate the um, commitment and sort of the time that they spend um, extra to their um, original hours to help us. Um, so I've already received an offer from EY New Zealand. It's one of the biggest accounting firm in the world. So my plan will be I will stay in New Zealand after I graduate and work as an auditor. So I'm also planning to become a chartered accountant, so I have to take several exams. This means I have to spend time studying while working. Um, for me, I think uh, getting to the workplace is like getting into another school. There will definitely be a lot of challenges and a lot of uh, things to face, and I'm looking forward to it. I'm currently second year, so um, still exploring sort of um, what I wanted to do after graduating but definitely um, looking for job opportunities and maybe looking into the um, post-grad programs that the university provides. And uh, for me, my plan, because this is my last semester, so I'm thinking about that question a lot lately. Um, so I think that, yeah, looking for a job is definitely a part of it. But also, I'm, for myself, I'm so open to just get, go out there and experience more not only within my job, for example, because especially after a year of COVID, right? So I haven't got a ch many chances to explore New Zealand much. So I think straight after my graduation, I might go, I might travel around New Zealand a bit just to get to know the country more. And besides that, it's looking for jobs. It was quite a different experience for me, but I can see that from the accommodation staff, uh, they try to provide us with lots of activities together. Um, we have hang, hangout nights, we have parties, we have cooking nights together, just so that we get that uh, accommodation experience uh, as a university student. So that's what I like it about the most. Um, the accommodation is well well furnished. Um, we have. We have, we have the culture there uh, within accommodation, so each accommodation building has a different team running it, so it has a different vibe, different culture, different style to that. So um, yeah, that's what I like about it. For me, I never met any situations that has threatened my personal security. I live in North Shore and it's, I, I feel quite safe to go out um, during night. And also when I, I'm in a university, I also feel safe and uh, nothing just like made me feel afraid. Yeah. The university has done a really good job in addressing the problem of um, safety. So as students, what we need to do is we really want to look out for each other. Yeah. And also um, just making sure that we're taking care of ourselves as well as people surrounding us. Yeah. And you just remind me of my a memory of mine that I still remember my first week in New Zealand, I went to the school and I remember a staff at the school uh, told, told me that, hey, you are here. The school is your home. It's your second home here. So if you have anything, just go to the school, ask for help. And yeah, and for me, like being here in New Zealand for just my first week in New Zealand, it just feels safe and welcome. Yeah. Like, okay, I have people here, like, is keeping an eye on me, things yeah. like that. So yeah. The University of Auckland Career Services do provide us students with a lot of support. For example, writing how to write an effective CV, interview skills, and also like they also organize workshops and recruitment events where they invite employers to the university on campus just so that university students got a chance to talk to employers directly. Um, so I joined all of those programs and events 
run by CDS, like the Career Services team here at Oakland University. And last summer of 2020 and 2021, I got an internship scholarship, uh, which, which I knew through the CDS and Career Services team at the University of Oakland. And so I work as a teaching assistant and youth mentor at the primary school throughout the summer. And it was an amazing one. Like I got to work with the kids. I got to, I got, uh, I got to, I got some trainings from the, some of my supervisors, and also the university also touched base on me from time to time just to make sure that I'm doing all right. If I need any help, something like that. And yeah, and the University of Auckland provides much more opportunities out there regarding our jobs, internships, just to get the experience and to kickstart our career. So making friends here in New Zealand, wow, it was a great challenge for me to be honest. Um, during my first, throughout my first year being here in New Zealand, I think I only knew the people that I go to classes with. Uh, and yeah, and that's that's a great place to make friends, right? Yeah. In our course and papers. Um, but there are, but as as I am here more like I realize there are more ways to make more friends and connect with new people, for example, John Clubs student clubs, uh, associations, and also like, we have so many events going on here at the university. So when we go over there, we meet new people and they turn out to be our friends, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have best friends from those kind of things. Yeah, joining school clubs mm -hmm. um, is also a huge part of um, what get me to meet new people and um, just mingle with um, people who are studying maybe a different program yeah. from me. Yeah. Um, for example, I'm in a student club called the Web Development and Consulting Club, um, and I'm currently taking care of the marketing side of it, and that really helped me to meet a lot of um, students who are doing engineering and who are doing arts, just totally different um, program from me. And I think that one of my top tips is just, uh, just start with your hobby. For example, if you like sports, soccer, football, or yeah, music, just start with that. Go find an event related to that, sports or music, go to those events, that's where you meet like your like-minded people. And so it's just easier to yeah, make friends. It's easy to bond yeah. And uh, to summarize, it's easy to make friends here in New Zealand as long as you participate in a lot of extracurricular activities, um, joining student clubs. Uh, so <laughs> it's easy to get uh, new friends as long as you are proactive. So be confident and get new friends, yeah. yeah.